Medical Monday now, Dr. Richard Windsor from Bay Care Clinic joins us. We are talking about Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, months of September. Talk a little bit, first of all, what is the prostate and what kind of cancer is, you know, going along with this? Sure. Um, the prostate is a gland that produces the fluid for semen and um, it uh, wraps around the urinary passageway. All the urine has to pass through the middle of that gland. Mm -hmm. um, and when people do develop cancer, you know, how does this, what, is there a typical age that this happens at? Well, the it starts, generally we start to see it more common in the, when people are in their 50s, and it okay. gets common as men get older and older and older. Mm -hmm. If someone's uh, father or brother has prostate cancer, well, it's more common, so we recommend sure. starting the screening for it earlier, and fortunately, mm -hmm. we do have good screening. Okay, and, and that's what I was going to ask, you know, what is the screening process? How do you detect this? What's that like? Um, it's basically very simple. It just involves a blood test, mm -hmm. um, and if the if there's relatives that have the cancer, yeah. we start at age 50. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, starting at age 60 on an annual basis, and, okay. and also a physical examination. So, what causes this cancer? Um, basically, it's genetic, is mm -hmm. all we've been really to determine. But there's higher risk factors if uh, someone's African American mm -hmm. and being genetic. Um, also testosterone supplements or other vitamin supplements. And we do have a graphic that we would like to pull up on the screen right here. Uh, these are some of the things that, that might, you know, enhance your chances of getting prostate cancer, would you say? Right. right. Okay, so African-American men, testosterone treatments or, or vitamin E. How does that typically play into it? Um, th th they're associated with it, but the strongest things are the genetic things being um, okay and family history and uh, yeah, African American and older sure. are the biggest things. Sure, and I never heard the diet high in dairy or calcium. Right, that's that's uh, something that, that may be true, but again, mm -hmm. it's important uh, based on the patient's age and uh, family, family history, history is the most. So, so that's why you would say it's so important to know your family's history right. and right. to get tested early and and to just talk with your doctor. Do you find that men are a little bit more hesitant to come in and chat? With with their doctor about something like this? Um, they they may be. Um, they go see their doctor. Their doctor is generally aware of this okay. and, and then will make um, a recommendations to them mm -hmm. about it. Do sometimes wives push their husbands to oh, go yes. in and get yeah, tested? Oh yeah, we have them uh, bring. <laughs> <laughs> Time for you to get checked now. <laughs> so, so, the, so the wives out there and, and people who are generally concerned, tell right. their husbands to go and know your family history. Right. And if you feel like you need to get tested, mm -hmm. just open up that dialogue with your doctor. Right, and then daughters are important too. So. Daughters, absolutely, because they're going to push <laughs> their dads to go in and get right. checked. That's right. Because is, is this a treatable type of cancer, would you very, say? Very treatable, very curable if caught early. Um, and uh, 20, uh, 200 and 20,000 men get it a year. It's the second most common cancer, mm -hmm. however 95% um, curable oh. if caught early. Wow, that's a really high rate. But again, the key is the early detection. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. Thanks yeah. so much for being okay. with us, Doc. We appreciate it. For more information about prostate cancer, just visit our website, click on the story. Today's take is coming up next here on Wisconsin Tonight. Stay with us.